This is the summer before our junior year, and we're hanging out, talking like we normally do. And you could just see there was something a little different. There's like a glisten in like Steven's eye. Like, I probed a little bit, saying like, okay, like, what's, what's going on? And he said, oh, you know, like I'm talking to this girl. He told me it was Marie Hamm. At that point, I was like, oh, this, this might not go well. I think she might be out of his league right now. I asked him if he'd like asked her out on a date or anything, like how's that's going. Um, and he gave me the response that you don't want to hear from a guy who's talking to a Christian girl. And that was that she's taking time off of dating. 90% of the time, when a girl says that, it usually means that she's not taking time off of dating. She's taking time off of dating you. <laughs> Surprising to me. Uh, they went on their first date, and it was a total success, um, as is most of the things that Steven plans. Um, they've been dating ever since. Tonight we're here to celebrate a continued tradition of uh, fantastic dates that they have been on. We look high and low. My sweet Steven, when I was young, I used to daydream about you. I would try to imagine what you were doing at that very second, or where you lived, or even whom you were dating at the time. I never really cared what you looked like, how you dressed, or any of those other frivolous things. Your character was all I cared about. To my beautiful Marie, when God first placed you on my heart years ago in Atlanta, I had no idea what it meant. Your beautiful eyes and your sweet smile knocked me off my feet, and your heart for the Lord and others drew me in. I never stood a chance. I knew that whenever I met a man who was honest, respectful, and treated me with more esteem and admiration than I could have ever imagined, I would marry him. And that is what I'm doing today. I wanted the proposal to be special. I knew she was going to pick up on it if it was something too obvious. It was my parents' 25th wedding anniversary, and they renewed their vows in Savannah, Georgia. This would be the perfect time to do it because she'll never see it coming. We set up a carriage ride, and the tour was going to end at Whitfield Square. It was this gazebo. Two lovers get out and share a kiss under there. They'll share eternal bliss. Come on, let's just, you know, tour guide said go do it. You have to go share a kiss. You have to. We went under there, and he kissed me, and then I pulled on his hand wanting to leave and he just kept talking and saying really nice and pretty things. And um, that's when I got down on one knee and I asked her to be my wife. I said yes and it was just a crazy feeling. I was extremely surprised. Planned the whole thing out, had everything down to the detail. It was perfect. So, 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 oh, oh, yes. Nothing makes you kiss like a touch or a I know we've been looking forward to this day for a long time now, but I've been praying for you for many, many years. I promise to love you and pursue you for as long as we live, and my heart is overjoyed that I get to do life with you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Tonight we celebrate, we kiss, we dance, we love. Tomorrow, repeat. Do it every day. I think about you guys, I think about First Corinthians 13 love, and when I meet someone that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with, I want it to be half as good as you guys' relationship is. I'm so proud of both of you. I just wish I'd have seen him first, because I'd have got him. I hope that you enjoy being on Team Marriage. Go Team Marriage! In pockets so Perfect, and there will be times when I fall short, but I will never give up on us. Thank you for being my rock, my supporter, my stronghold, my confidant, my goofball, and now my husband. I promise to be fiercely loyal to you in all circumstances, to pursue your heart with reckless abandon, and to always love you with all that I am for the rest of our lives. Thank you for your silly voices, your sweet kisses, your strong hugs. I cannot wait to walk down the aisle today and into your arms for the rest of our lives. I love you so much and I can't wait to kiss you up there. Always, Stephen. I promise to love you with each passing day. I love you forever your bride, Marie. Stephen, you may kiss your bride.
I can speak for Steven. I know that he's been planning, at least for the past year, in our conversations, uh, to be a great husband uh, for Mary. Um, and I know in our conversations he's been planning longer than that. Not thinking, okay, how can I be a good boyfriend? How can I be a good fiance? But how can I be a good husband 10 years down the road? And what decisions can I make today uh, to be the man that I want to be when that time comes? Um, so Steven, keep up the good work. Uh, keep thinking down the road. Keep those dates coming. Um, don't let any day uh, not be special. And Marie, uh, congratulations on finding such a guy uh, who's interested now in planning for your 50th wedding anniversary. So, to Stephen and Marie Gallo. And we're live from Marie's, Marie's wedding. wedding. <laughs> Marie would say, driving like a pack mule. Are you videoing? Yep. Oh. Boom. Wow, good grammar, sweetie. From Charles and Dave. It's Charles and Dave. <laughs> Big boy, I cried like four times in your wedding. Can I be inappropriate? Okay, good. We don't have to talk right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> the altar, and I was like, I have a headache. He goes, me too. <laughs> you put that on the video. Have fun tonight, guys. No, don't record that. I'm sorry. This is the coolest thing I've done, hands down, to this day. Yeah.